Hi there, this video shows you how to set up uh, the plotter with the window computer. So in this computer, this is a window 10. So in the window 7, there would be the similar uh, setup. So first of all, you need to connect the plotter with the computer with a direct USB cable. So the with a USB cable, and after that, switch on the power, and wait about one or two minutes, and then on the computer. So now the uh, portal power is on, and wait for about one or two minutes, and on the computer, now we open up the the file 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 browser so can you see here this pc so we right click <coughs> properties so we click on device manager so because the portal normally is not a a pure usb port so so you need to check the ports here. So we'll click on ports, com and LPT. And can you see here is, is a USB serial port, com free. So remember, so the port now is connected with the computer with a com free USB to serial. Okay, we remember that. And which means the computer already connected with the uh, port successfully. So now, then you go to install the software. So always follow this step. So make sure your portal is already connect successfully with the computer and then go to install the software. So I don't go through the details uh, about how to install the software here. So I assume you already installed the software here successfully. So after you install the software, so the software name is a sign master. So we open it up and uh, we create a new document, new document, and then we click on A and we type some uh, sample text. So test. So say we want to cut this one. So you go to cut. So can you see this uh the gray the cutting gray icon? You click on that. In here is another window comes up. So you can see the snack model. It's a TH740A. Select it. So normally don't need to worry about the thing underneath. So so we one thing we want to make sure is the the software is a connected the correct portal. Okay, so we click on properties. So you will see another window. And then we click on connection. So see current cutter is uh, this one, TH740A. So I only got one portal, so it's just one here. And then port type is a direct COM port. So make sure you select this one. And the settings, port name here, USB serial port com free. So this is the correct one. Okay. Remember in here, it might, it might have a series or a, a, a many different of, uh, serial port available for you to choose. So you remember you need to choose the one which is, uh, matching in the device manager here so in here device manager is a usb serial port com free so com free is the one connected with the computer so in the software here make sure you select com free in here okay so you, you might have a many ports for you to choose so you select the, the correct one otherwise you the portal it won't send any command to the portal it won't, it won't cut
okay so now go back to the software so you want to cut is click on cut now and then and another window comes up say do you want to proceed they say yes and then the software will send the command to the portal and start to do the cutting okay now we go to the portal this is the portal control panel so you see there's a few buttons here so basically we just set up the the cutting force and cutting speed so how to do it so you will see menu you push menu once so you will see F and V F is a force V is a speed so you can set the cutting force and cutting speed here so you you use the left and Y to set the force okay and use up and down to set the V so there's a very very uh, very important uh, principle here so the thicker the material so you need the uh, bigger force okay um, but when you see the braids is already cut through the whole material which means the force the force is too much so you need to reduce the force also the cutting speed when when you when you cutting and you see the material is peeling off too much or peeling off around the corner which means the cutting speed is too fast so you need to reduce the cutting speed so this one is uh, subject to change of the material so different material they might require different cutting force and speed so you this is very important for you to find out the best cutting speed and force for for uh, for the material okay and then we kick we push the one more menu you will set uh, this one we don't normally don't normally we we don't normally touch this one and uh, this one we don't need to worry about it don't worry about it don't worry about it don't worry about this one too so when you see we are back to operation now okay so that's very important when when you in the setting mode that the portal won't cut so you need to press few more time menu and make the portal back to operation okay when you operation mode you push left and right and you can control the the cutting head left and right use the left and right key control controlling y and left and use the up and down key to control the material in and out all right so the the portal coming with uh, this uh, roller depends on the portal it might come with uh, several rollers okay make sure this roller this roller they are movable so make sure this roller are on a matching with the roller on the machine so this uh, rubber roller is um, put need to this position is on matching on the machine so can you see this one this roller is on this uh, bottom roller and this roller is uh, matching with the, this bottom roller and this one matching with this bottom roller so you can you can change the position to the roller to diff, different uh, bottom roller so here another one so but this machine only got three so we just have a free now it's showing you how to fit the material so 
depends on depends on the width of your material. Like for example, this is the A4 paper. So, so make sure you lift up the roller. Lift it up. At the bottom, there's at the bottom there's a lever. So you can control the roller is, is up and down. Okay. So you lift it up, then you can put in the material. Make sure the material is holding by at least two rollers. The more roller, the more more control. Okay? And after that, make the roller holding the paper. So now then you can use the up and down key to control the in and out of the material. Okay, now we use the left and right key to make the cutting head running on the on the paper. Normally, stop on the on the top corner like this. So now we can go to the software to cut. Okay, this is the software. So say we want to cut. <coughs> this uh, example so this is that this is the one I type on the example so we want to cut this one so you see here the cutting break icon we click on that and you will see the new window comes up so mix so remember we talked about before this is a, the right model and the, and the connection so we on here we click on cut now and then here click one more time cut now and there's another window time so say proceed with cutting you say yes so we go to the portal Okay, finish cutting. You can use the arrow key to roll the material out. Can you can see? Thank you for watching.